In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, I'd like to give you some of my favorite tips about putting a person or object as a layer in a photo. I have a photograph here and I'd like to put a person into it and edit that person very carefully with a mask. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on the Edit tab with this picture loaded. And then we'll use this as a background. I'll right click on it on the left bar and do a duplicate. And then we'll, we'll turn off the original background layer and just work on the copy. Then we're going to add another layer. I'm going to add a layer of a picture with a person in it. So I'm going to click the leftmost icon, add new layer at the upper left. In this case, it's going to be from a photo layer and it will be from my browser panel because I've already loaded this. You could use any folder in your file system. I'll click on here and let's take this image here. Click on OK. Now it pops up this particular image. I'd like to use the woman. So what I like to do is click on the magnifying glass to zoom in on my second picture. We'll zoom into this level here. And then I'm going to use my selection tool to start my selection in kind of a rough shape. So I'm going to enlarge my circle here a little bit. I'm just scrolling the mouse. You can also use the slide button here. And we'll make this, just make sure we cover all of her frame. And it will be very imperfect to start with, that's okay. And we've got that part, and we'll get our other leg. And I think I've got at least all of her maybe fingers a little bit here. Okay, now we're going to hold down the Alt key, and that will take some of it away. We don't want to take too much. That looks like a safe place here to reduce it, and here, and maybe here. Okay, for anything else, these blues are so close, and this is a diff different color here. I'm going to show you a, a fine-tuned way to do that. So what I'm going to do is say I want everything to be removed but her. So I'm going to click on the operation. I'll do the invert selection, and then I'll click on the next icon, which is cut, and it will take everything else out. So here's my picture. Now I'm going to press the escape to take the edge off. And now I'll show you some fine tune editing that you can do. So I'm going to zoom in on one section at a time. And we'll just do a part of it in this case. Now again, I could use this selection tool. And in some cases that will work. We have to make sure this button is un unchecked. And right now it looks like this is doing a good job for there. And if I like it, I'll press the delete key and it will remove it. Press the escape key, I'm back. Now here I have a harder time. You see, it doesn't work quite as well. Press escape. So I'm going to zoom in on that area even more. So I'm going to click my zoom and we'll just tighten up on this area. This is an area where these colors blend a lot. So what I like to do in that case is I want to zoom in as far as I can and then I just use the manual brush. I click on that and make sure my zoom tool is off so it works. And then I can shrink the size of it either with the scroll of my mouse. And I can take out as much of this as I want manually. So I'm just clicking on it and I'll, I'll make it smaller yet. I'll press the delete key. I like to go in segments like this. And I could zoom in here tighter if I want or change the way the, uh, the size of my tool is. We can click here, and we'll just get a little more here, a little more fine-tuned. And you can zoom in tighter. Now here I, I cut into, I didn't want to do that, so I'll hold the Alt key down, and that will go back the, in the other direction. Okay, and then I'll press the Delete key. It'll delete it, Escape will make that part go away. So here's where you can fine tune anything you like to get it as precise as you want. Now, my feather right now is set to two, which is pretty small. If I want it even tighter, I can set it all the way down to zero. So let's go back to our zoom and go to fit. And let's do just one other section just to give you an example. We Let's look under her chin here. We have perhaps some issues. We'll zoom in on this. And here we have 
We'll turn this off. We'll keep on this tool here. And here we can be as precise as we'd like. If you want to use this tool, I'll use the Alt again. I find that when I get to very high fine tuning, this does better than the, the automatic section. Because you can get down to the pixel. Press Escape. We'll do a little bit more here. We still got a little white there. And so you get the idea. So you can be as careful as you want. And the, the rule that I use is I, I don't want to erase too much at a time. And I save my project often so I can save it in stages. That's one of the ways in which I get a pretty high quality fine tune feathering when it comes to this. Let me show you another tip. I'm going to take this picture of this gal. I'm going to click on my selection tool. And I like the way it is. I wonder if I want, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Let's pretend we've got everything done for her. Now what I want to do is I want to make it look like she's behind part of the table. So I'm going to invert left to right. And I'm going to put part of her leg behind the picnic table down here. Now how do I do that? Click on my zoom. And we'll zoom in. And I want it to look like the, the table's in front of part of her leg. The way I'm going to do that is with that image selected of the lady, I'm going to take my opacity value and dial it back. Just enough that I see the image behind there. I'm going to zoom in even more. Click on the zoom tool. Zoom in even more. And then make sure I'm on her, not the background. And then what I can do is use my same technique that I just used with a brush. And we will remove any part of her that is in front of the picnic table. Okay, looks like I need to use my Alt key here. I don't want to take too much off down here. There we go. And again, you, you can tweak this as much as you want. I'll press the Delete key, then the Escape key. We'll go back to Fit. We'll tile the opacity back up. And now, if you look at it, right now it looks like she is standing behind the picnic table, at least part of it. It gives it depth to where she is in proportion to the rest of the shot. And we've been able to do that by simply using the Opacity tool to fine tune as much as we can where she is in relationship to the picture. This is an especially useful tool when you have two or three people in an image and you want one person to stand next to the other person and you make that nice tight edit in your mask between one and the other so it looks like they're in the same scene. So it's very helpful, especially for people, but for any kind of object that you want to use. So th those are some of my top tips in some fine-tuned mask editing when it comes to uh, taking a person or object and putting them in a scene as though they belong there.